Hey, good morning guys, welcome to your Tuesday uh, body weight circuit class. Um, I hope you're well, I hope you are you're still enjoying these workouts. Um, yesterday's was, love it, I loved yesterday's, brutal live wire hit step. That really, really tested you with all those jumping burpees, what was it, 22 sets I think it was. Um, but today we usually do body weight hit, but as we're doing uh, hit cardio tomorrow, I, I mixed it up and swapped them round. So now we're doing circuits on a Tuesday rather than circuits on a Wednesday. So I hope you've got your weights or you've uh, got something around the house that you can use as weights. I put the um, exercises up on the group page yesterday so you've got an idea of what, uh, what we're gonna be doing. Uh, as you can see, no step today. We don't need any step for the circuits. It's all just gonna be weights and body weight. Um, 15 exercises like it always is, 45 seconds work and 20 seconds rest in round one, and then 35 seconds and then 10, sorry, 35 seconds work and then 10 seconds rest in round two. So it comes in at about 28 minutes. Depending on how we're feeling at the end, I might throw in an extra exercise, but we'll see how the workout um, obviously goes. Tomorrow is the final one of the week. Um, Obviously, I know it's only Wednesday, but we're coming up to Christmas. It is hit cardio. It is a brand new one. I've not even done it um, because I've only done the awkward, not awkward, the awakening track. So tomorrow is going to be a first, not only for you, but for me as well. So hope you can join me for that one at half past nine. Don't forget, tomorrow is Christmas themed. So if you've got anything Christmassy that you can wear, you know, tinsel, hats, outfits, whatever. But obviously, make sure that you're going to be comfortable when you're doing the workout. Um, because I don't want anybody like overheating and passing out. That's not what we want. So if you've got any sort of um, Christmas attire you can wear for tomorrow, please do the workout in it, send a photo, and then we can obviously put it onto the page later on um, to see your effort. So today's workout, like I say, it's 15 exercises. We will go through the exercises after we've done the warm up. Um, oh, sneeze. <coughs> oh, bless me. Then again. <coughs> oh, dear. I sneezes this morning. Okay, set the watches. And let's do the warm up and then we'll go through it. As you can see, the timer is at the front, so it's gonna be a real time workout. Try and keep to it as best you can. So let's do this, wrist rolls. If you haven't got any weights, again, just try and use what you can. If you've only got one weight, arms out in front, use it, okay? There is no excuses, anybody can do this workout whether you've got weights or not, okay? Yes, Chris. Right, arms behind, shoulder blades together. Good stuff, let's do those arm circles. So nice big arm circles, all the way, stretch it out. Good, let's bring it back the other way. Good morning, John, how are we doing? Okay, from there, let's go into those uh, wood chops. Feet shoulder width apart, we're gonna squat down, head and arms over one shoulder, and we rotate up to the ceiling on the other side. Five on one side. Good, one more, and then we switch, five on the other. One, two, Three, four, and again, five. From there, let's start squatting. So keep those feet shoulder width apart, and we squat. So head and chest up, deep on the squat, keep your heels on the floor. Good stuff, let's just warm these legs up. Great stuff, guys, let's keep this going. So from here, we're gonna leave the floor and do some jumping squats. If you can't jump, you just go to tiptoes. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So weight the heels, again, power it up, softly land on the way down. And remember, if you can't jump, just go to tiptoes like that, back down, okay? Keep it going. A few more, then we're going into your lunges. In three, two, one, right, into your lunges. So alternate your legs, forward lunge. Alternate those legs. Good stuff. So this time when we do a lunge, we're gonna do a rotation. It doesn't matter which side. So when you lunge, you rotate. Let's go, lunge, rotate. Good, right, three from now. One, two, last one, and three. Fantastic, from there, let's go down to the side lunge. We'll be weight onto one side. Good stuff, right, switch sides. Keeping those legs wide, let's go to those toe touches. So rotate through those shoulders, let's go. Let's warm up the upper body and your back. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. From there, let's go back up to the top. Those shoulder rolls. Forward. Get the upper body nice and warm. And reverse it. 
great stuff. Right, this time, let's have your palms facing each other. Try to do a clap, obviously you're missing. So fully extend your arms, bring them back in. Let's go, come on. Keep it going, right, palms facing down, do exactly the same. Let's go. We finish off, palms facing up. Keep it going, up and over, up and over. Three, two, one, okay. From there, curl yourself up into a ball. Hands on opposite knees, pull back on your shoulder blades. Come on, let's keep this tempo up. Head and chest up. Curl yourself up. Five from now. Four, three, two, last one, and one. Okay, hamstrings, do not forget these. Fingers under toes, we crouch down. Then we stand nice and tall, keep your legs straight. Hold it out. Three, two, one. We do the same again, repeat. Back down, stand tall once again. Here we go. Hold it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand up nice and slowly into those hip rotations. So three outwards. Good stuff, bring it back in. Three inwards. Awesome, and the same other side. Knee up and out. Three outwards, bring it back in, three inwards. Awesome stuff. Okay, start walking around, or up and down, on tiptoes. Okay, switch it to your heels. Okay, standing in one position, we rock forward and back. Let's do this. So guys, if you've got your weights ready, if you've got weights, please get them ready, because you're gonna need them. If you haven't got any, do not worry. You can still do these exercises without weights. Ankle rolls. I will show you demonstrate exercises right now. Okay, so I've got, I'm lucky I've got a selection of weights. So I'm obviously gonna progress as I can through the workout. Now, those of you who have joined me for the last couple of weeks, you'll know what I mean when I say RPE. Now, RPE stands for Rate of Perceived Exertion. In English, it means one is easy, 10 is hard. So I want you guys to get between a seven and an eight in every single exercise we do. By the end of the workout, you might even hit a nine. So be true to yourself. I don't want you breezing through this workout, only hitting fours and fives on your exertion. Okay, I want you to get to the sevens and the eights in every exercise we do. It's not a race. This is not a hit class. This is a circuit class. So we have to take our time with the exercises and make sure we perform them right because we don't want to cause an injury, okay? so. First exercise is gonna be a dumbbell snatch. So with this one, you're gonna have your legs shoulder width apart. One dumbbell is gonna be against your hip. Okay, the reason being is, because when you go down, you've got somewhere to put it, all right? So I mean, your hip, we can go down your side if you want, but I tend to have it in my hip. You go across to the opposite side, to right to left, head is up, you come up to the top of your shoulder, and you press, and then you switch sides, he says. Hang on, where's that go? Well, that goes there, doesn't it? So, so left hand to right foot, touch your toe, up to your shoulder and press and back down. So right to left, squat, press, and then we alternate each side. So really make sure, the important thing to remember is when you go down for the squat, you don't look down and bend your back. You need to keep your chest up, you need to keep your head up. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two is overhead walking lunges. So you keep the arms above your head at all times. Now depending on your space, don't take the lights out either, Depending on your space, obviously do your walking lunges, keep the weights above your head. Okay, so two or three forward, you turn around, then you do two or three the other way. Now, if you haven't got the space for that, you can just stand in one position, okay? Weights above your head and alternate your legs. That might be an easier version to be fair. I think we'll probably do that one rather than the walking lunges because I haven't really got a lot of space. I've got to tell them there's lights out. Into exercise number three, weighted sit-ups, pretty straightforward, crab walk, press up, I'll explain that as and when we need to. Arnold press, I've done this one before. So your wrists, so your palms and wrists are facing towards you. And then you take them out, so you rotate them. And then you press, and then you return it back to the beginning, just reverse it. So you should be looking at your wrists, okay, and your palms. Then they go outwards, so you're facing away from you, and then press it. That is your Arnold press. From there, wide curls, straightforward, but this time your arms are wide rather than in narrow dips on a chair or sofa, work your triceps. Eight is your chest fly, again we're on the floor for your chest flies. Rear delt flies, 
Again, bend over, rear delt flies. Again, I'll explain that as and when we get to it. Reverse crunches, Superman plank, jumping jacks we've done. We did those in hit cardio. Squat to press. Pretty straightforward, feet shoulder width apart. We squat down and we press above our head. Uh, lateral frontal raise, again, lateral frontal raise. And then you finish off with your sprint punches, with or without weight. If you've got enough energy, you can sprint punch with weight. Fantastic, if not, do what you can do. Okay, so I'm gonna talk you through the first round. Get you make sure you've got your, uh, your points right, you know exactly what to do for the exercises. And then we go again in round two. Right, okay, quick drink. Pick your weights up, whatever weight you want. Remember, you got this for 45 seconds. So, I'm gonna pick a five to begin with. Are you ready? 45 seconds on the clock. In three, two, one. Dumbbell snatches first. So, remember, get into your hip, touch your opposite toe, and press. And then we switch sides. So, right to left, left to right. Make sure you get that deep squat in. Press. Let's go opposite sides. Back down, let's go. Opposite sides. And let's go. So rotate, opposite side, get that power in the press. Back down, deep squat, touch those toes. Opposite side, up. Come on, let's go. Push up. And again. Come on. Work for the full 45. Come on, last one, get it in. Oh, well done guys, excellent, right. From there, into your walking lunges. Gone for a lighter weight, I've gone for threes. Now, if you can't do walking lunges, just stay in one position, hands above your head, big lunge forward, and then we swip side, swap sides. All right, you ready? So, hands above your head. Let's go, lunge, and switch sides. Try and get that back knee as close as you can to the floor. You gotta keep them arms above your head. At all times, head up, chest up, really important. Deep lunge, come on. Again, it's not a race. Take your time. If you've only got one weight, put it in both hands. Let's go. Or you're holding that milk carton, get both hands on it, come on. Keep that core tight, head up, chest up. Let's go. Come on. You're doing good, come on. Keep the arms up. Last one. Really good, guys. Well done. Okay, now it's your time to sit on your mat. Go into your weighted sit ups. So if you can tuck your feet under something, even better. That weight stays on your chest, your shoulder blades go down, and you come up into a sit up. Here we go. Are we ready? Haven't got a weight? Just keep your arms across your chest. Let's go all the way down. Shoulder blades down, and then we sit up. Imagine you've got a line going through your belly button. It's drawing you up from your belly, not from your shoulders or your neck. So you should come up as one. Shoulders come off the mat at the same time as your neck. You should be looking forward. Keep that neck up. Keep your head up. Don't put your, neck, don't put your chin into your neck. You'll hurt your neck, okay? Keep that weight on your chest. Come on, use that weight to drive you up. Keep your heels on the floor. One more if you get it in. Right guys, from there we're into a crab walk press up. You don't need any weight for this. So you're in plank position. Arms and legs move one way, twice. Press up. Pre arms and legs move the other way. So you're into a moving plank, and then you do a press up. The so arms and legs move one way. Are you ready? So. Arms and legs move twice, one way, down to a press up. Arms and legs move the other way, down to a press up. Make sure you keep in that plank position, guys. It's really important. Okay, it's not a race. So, move in plank or a crab. Arms and legs twice. If you can't do a full press up, you got those knees down. Let's go, come on. Let's go. Chest all the way down, guys. And again. Oh, tough. Tough, tough, tough. Come on. All the way down. Last one. If you get it in, 
Yes, well done guys. Okay, we're into exercise number five. Back into your weights once again. This time we're into the Arnold press. So, remember your palms face towards you. Take your arms out, press above your head. Keep your core tight. Woo, I've got the heart rate up. Right, let's do this. So, palms facing, away from you, up into a press. Keep that core tight, back down. So when you get to the top, you just reverse it. Squeeze in the middle. So three parts to this one. Okay, one, two, three, one, and two. Okay, one, two, three, one, two. Come on, get into your rhythm. Slow and controlled. Core tight. Head up, chest up. Really feel this in your shoulders. Bring those weights together. Let's go out wide, up, good. Back in, back out, up, come on. Slow and control. Awesome stuff, that's great guys, well done. Okay, from there, you're gonna be into your wide curls. So your hands, sorry, your elbows are gonna be stuck to your side. Your arms, this time, go wide. Don't have them in like that for a normal curl. Point arms wide, okay? Whether you wanna do both at the same time, it's up to you, but your arms must be out wide. Look, show you, look how wide my arms are. Stick my arms out wide, head and chest is up. Wide curl, all the way up, all the way down. Slow and controlled, guys, come on. Elbows do not move, keep those elbows stuck to your side, like I'll show you that. Elbows are there, I'm not swaying. My weight is just right for what I can do. Let's go. Keep that core tight, come on. Let's do it. Up and down. Slowly down, all the way up for one, down for three. Two, three, power up for one. Down for three, one, two, three. And again, up one more. Yes, guys, right. Drop your weights. Now you need a chair or a sofa for this one. You're gonna be doing dips, so your hands are facing, or your uh, fingertips are facing away from you. Keep your legs straight if you can. And we're gonna dip, obviously, all the way down. If you wanna make it easier, bend your knees, harder, straight legs. Let's go, so you dip all the way down. Try and get your bum to the floor. Fully lock out your elbows at the top. Lock them out. Now, if it gets too intense, you make it easier. Bend your knees. All the way down, guys, come on. Bend those elbows, and then lock them out at the top. Squeeze it, feel this in your triceps. Come on. Body weight exercise, this one, really good for those triceps. Whether you've got a chair, a bench, a sofa, whatever. Come on. Let's get tough, let's go to the knees. Come on, keep work, repping these out, guys. Let's go, come on. Oh, my days, right. You're on the floor for this one. If your chest flies, grab your heavy weights. Shoulders are on the floor. Actually, don't want to run a heavy or whatever. So, elbows on the floor, chest up, shoulder blades back. You're bringing these weights together. Imagine you're trying to hug a big tree. So, ready? All the way up, squeeze at the top, slowly back down. Elbows touch the floor, bring them up, squeeze in the middle. Then, dumbbells should go over your chest. Squeeze. So, really get the contraction at the top, squeeze them together. Good. Keep that chest up. Shoulder blades on the floor. Squeeze, squeeze at the top. Come on, squeeze. Really good for your chest, this one. Come on, squeeze it at the top. Like trying to hug a bear or a tree. Big grizzly bear. Come on, keep it going. Last one if you get it in. Oh, well done, guys. Okay, from there into your rear delt flies. So we're starting to work muscles in your back. Again, choose your weight. Remember, hips go back, pelvis goes back. Keep your chest and head, uh, sorry, your neck and lower your spine, and your arms are going out wide, like that. So, neck's in line with your spine. Don't look down. I want a slight bend in your knees. Slow and control, show you sideways. Again, slow and control, keep that back straight. Don't be bending your shoulders. Bend your back, do not arch your back like that. Don't want anybody with an arch. Okay, shoulders back. 
Come on, get that back straight. Good. Slight bending knees. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Let's go, come on. Let's keep this going, slow and control. Come on. Great, keep that neck up. Remember, in line with your spine. Good, and again. Well done, guys. Really good control, fantastic. Right, from there, reverse crunches. So we've done these loads of times. Hips and bum off the floor, slowly on the way down. Heels touch the floor, back up again. I'll count you in. One up, five down. Hands under your bum. Right, here we go. So one up, five down. One, two, three, four, five. Back up. One, one, two, three, four, five. Right, keep to that rhythm, guys. Count yourself. And relax into it. Slowly on the way down. Focus on your breathing. Let's go. Great stuff, keep it going. Come on, really feel that in your core. Try and slow it down. Oh, wow, I felt that one. From there guys, we've got another core exercise. Superman plank, right. Now you want to be in plank position. Opposite hand to foot, so left hand, right foot. Hold it for a couple of seconds before you switch sides. Grab it this way and take out the tree of the horse. Be ready, so plank position. Left hand, right foot. Hold it, two second hold, and switch. Two, good. So really squeeze that core, you're gonna to have to. to keep your balance. Squeeze your obliques. Two seconds, be true to yourself. Get to three if you can. Two, three. Oh. If you can't do it on your hands, do it on your elbows. And again, come on. Weight forward, bum down. Ah, oh, you lost it then. Come on. Do one at a time. So bring your hand up first, then slowly bring your foot. Oh, get confidence with this one. I want you to practice this one. Oh. Come on, foot out, arm out. Oh. That's tougher than it looks, honestly. Right, gonna get that heart rate up now. Gonna do 45 seconds of jumping jacks. Really gonna focus on getting that heart rate up. Okay, are you ready? Oh dear, let's do this. Woo! Right, heart rate up. Are you ready? Let's go, come on. 45 of jumping jacks, arms and legs. If you can't go as quick, slow it down. Come on. Yes, guys, come on. Fantastic work. Come on, keep to the pace. Keep to the pace. Don't slow it. Maximum effort. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Push through. You got this. Come on. Hang in there. Oh, God, that certainly got my heart rate up. Okay, into exercise number 13. Grab your weights once more. You're into squat to press. Elbows stay high. Squat, down into a press. Sorry, up into a press. So you squat, then you stand up, then you press. Woo! Okay, here we go. So feet shoulder width apart. We squat down. We press. We squat. We stand up, we press, look where the weights are. The weights do not move until we stand up. Over your head, come on. Squat down, head up, chest up. Always look forward, engage that core. Down, squat, press. Notice that I'm taking my time, it's not a race. The weights are too heavy, just drop them. Back up, I've got to drop mine out my shoulders. Let's go, down to threes. Oh. Get to a seven or eight, every rep, every exercise. Let's go back down. Back up, come on. Oh, last one, come on, get it in. Yes, guys, well done. Okay, lateral now, and frontal raises. So, again, lateral raise, hold it, back down, frontal raise. No swinging, don't want anybody swinging. Okay, you gotta keep your core tight when your arms go out and your arms go forward. 
Keep it tight, come on. Arms up, are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, hold it, down, front, down. So I want you to hold it at the top of the movement for a second or two to engage those muscles. Back down, again, look, one up, hold it. One, two, back down, up to the front. One, two, come on, get that tempo right. Don't be swinging your arms. Focus on your reps, focus on the exercise. On your form, come on. What are you working? Shoulders. Let's feel it in the shoulders there. Come on. Stabilize yourself, squeeze your glutes. Doesn't matter what weight you've got, if you haven't got any weights, do circles. So with that one for next time, you can just do circles in your arms out like that. Finish off sprint punches. Now I'm not gonna use any weight for this one. I'm literally just gonna sprint and punch for 45 seconds. If you wanna use some weight, by all means, get it in your hand and sprint and punch. Let's finish this round off, are you ready? Right, let's go, come on, 45, sprint punch. Shake off all that lactic acid in your shoulders, come on. Knees up, don't forget to sprint. Come on, Melissa loves this one, she likes punching the screen, she likes punching me, come on. Get angry with this one, come on. Let's punch, punch Corona. Punch tier four, come on, let's go, come on, finish off, keep going, keep pushing, keep driving the shoulders, knees up, oh. okay guys, if you see on the clock, we've done round one, we've got a minute rest, Oh, I'm blowing now. We have a minute rest, and then we do all those exercises again. So grab yourself a drink. Second time is always gonna be harder than the first, okay? So, again, if you haven't got any weights, and you're still doing it, push yourself a little harder, now you know what you're doing. If you've got weights, slow it down, okay? Quality over quantity on this one. Oh my God, my shoulder's burning. What have we got left? Oh, 23 seconds, go on. Ooh. So, back into the exercise number one. Dumbbell snatch. Remember, opposite foot, and then we press over the top. What have we got? Five seconds, good God. Right, let's do this. 35 work now, 10 rest. I need to get my weights in my hand before I start. In three, two, one, let's go. Back into the snatch. So down to the opposite foot, you know how to do these now, we alternate. Head and chest up. Okay, when you get tired, form seems to go out the window, so you really gotta focus on your form now. When you get tired, focus what you gotta do. Be safe. Head and chest up when you need to. Let's go, push. Opposite side, let's go. Good guys, come on, stick with it. Weights don't have to be heavy. I've only got fours in my hand. Last one. Right, I'm sticking with these fours. Overhead walking lunges. So, hands above your head. We lunge out. Let's do this. So, lunge. Alternate your legs, keep your arms up. Really important now you focus on your form, head and chest up. This is tough. Come on, guys. Remember the rest is only 10 seconds. You've got to be quick in the transition. Oh. Head and chest up, come on. Get those arms up. Make sure the dumbbells aren't touching. Come on, be true to yourself for this one. Oh, oh that was tough. Okay, on your mat, the weighted sit-ups. Get that, get that weight across your chest. Feet under your mat. Oh. Let's go, up. So keep it across your chest. Drive. Keep your head up, chest up, let's go. Come on. Come on, drive up, drive up. Get that weight on your chest. Let's go. Shoulders go all the way back before you come up, come on. 
back down, let's go. That's one. Oh, awesome, right, it's that crab walk, no weight required. So plank position, walk it from one side to the other. You ready, plank position, guys. So two walks one way, press up, two walks the other, keeping that plank position at all times. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Really top of these press ups now. Oh. Come on. Get that plank in. Really tough. Last one. Oh, God, that was horrible. Right. Up for the iron on press. So again, choose your weights. Back to the fours for me. Palms facing towards you. We go out, up, come on. Remember your form. Head and chest stay up, core tight, no swinging. Focus, shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Come on. Rotate them in, rotate your arms in. Supinate your wrists to get your chest involved as well. Come on. Ah, hard on the second time, let's go. Push up. Come on, let's keep this intense now. That's what. Okay, we finish off. Finish off? No, next exercise is those wide curls. Elbows tucked in. A little heavy at least. So elbows in, wide with the curls. Slow it down. So one up, squeeze. Three down, one, two. Three, you break down the more muscles on the way down. Break down the muscle tissue at the fibers. Not at the top, squeeze at the top. Slow on the way down, that's what breaks it down. Eccentric part of the movement is when you break the muscle tissues down, which makes you rebuild and grow. Makes you stronger. Come on, let's go down, 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 slowly down. And again, up to the top, slow on the way down. Oh, okay, good, into those dips. So I'm on this one. Show you on this side now. Oh, I can't stop seeing me. <laughs> right, ready for your dips. <sighs> Legs straight if you can, push yourself. Come on, test yourself, let's go. <sighs> Lock out your elbows at the top. Remember, you're working those triceps underneath your biceps. Bottom out of your arms. You women like to call them bingo wings. So let's work them, come on. Find it top of your legs straight. Bend your legs. <sighs> All the way down, come on. Get your legs out. Uh, I've got my straight on. Push out the top. Lock out the top. Come on, lock them out. Uh, oh, that was tough. Okay, it's lying on the floor. Get ready for your chest flies. Oh, arms out wide. Shoulder blades back on the floor. Elbows touch the floor and we hug. Squeeze at the top. Back down, come on. Squeeze at the top of the movement, squeeze. Elbows gotta to touch the floor, slight bend in your elbows. Come on, let's rip out. Let's go. Squeeze. Come on. Keep working hard, you're doing great. Come on. Push through. Last one. Oh. Wow, that was hard. Okay, into those rear delt flies. Pick up your weights, remember, bending over. Into the rear delts. So don't bend your back, remember. <sighs> Work in the rears now, rear delts. Pinch those shoulder blades together. <sighs> Slight bend in your knee. <sighs> Good. Remember, keep your neck up, in line with your spine. <sighs> don't look to the floor, look forward. Keeps everything in a straight line, look. <sighs> Slow, <sighs> control it. Get their weights up, get them touching. Work your back. Rear delts. Come on. Keep working hard, come on. And again. Oh, that was tough. Okay, into those reverse crunches. Back onto your mat. Oh, exercise number 10 this is. Woo. Right, hands in your bum. Legs up, five down. One, two, three, four, five. Back up. Let's go. Focus. Slowing it down on the way down. 
Try and keep your head and shoulders on the mat. Slow, slow, slow. Really feel that in your core, come on. And again. Come on, slow it down. Well done, okay, from there you're into your Superman plank. Opposite hand to foot, you must be in a plank position. Are you ready? Plank position, guys. Opposite hand to foot. And switch sides. Take your time with this one. Keep that core tight. If you're not good at this one, got to practice more. Got to get your oblique strength up. Core balance and strength is required in this one. Let's go, hand up, foot up, get it high, point your toes. Come on, core tight, weight forward. Oh. Oh. Wow. Okay, everybody up. Get ready for, I think it's time, innit? Get ready for your jumping jacks. 35 seconds, you ready? Get this heart rate up. Let's go. Come on. 35, come on. We're nearly there, guys. Three to go. Oh, come on. We're nearly there. Oh, let's go. Go on. Push through. Come on. Keep going, keep going. You got this, come on. What's going on this new music? Okay. Squat to press his neck. Grab your weights. So elbows are up. Squat, then you press. So squat, stand up, press. Back to your shoulders again. Squat, stand up, press. Back down, come on, squat. Stand up, press. Squat, up, press. Come on, and again. Squat, up, press. Down, let's do it in stages. Come on, head and chest up. Deep squat. Oh. Let's do this, come on. That's one. Oh. Right, from there, guys. Lateral frontal raises. Oh, right. Let's do it. Woo! Let's go, lateral. Slow it down, frontal. Breathe. Hold it, one, two. Now, if you haven't got any weights, and we'll do it with you now, stand there with your arms, and literally just leave them out and do circles. Okay? Do that. Don't drop it, though. Just do these circles without your weights. Just as hard, if not harder. Just leave those arms up. Circles, come on. That's one. Good effort. Okay, we finish off with those sprint punches. Come on, guys, 35 seconds. Flat out on this one. Are you ready? Right, let's go. Come on. 35, go. Punch it. Last time. Knees up. Don't forget the sprint. Come on guys, really go for it, push. Let's go, let's go. Ah. Come on, make them punches count. Sideways, come on, look. Through the shoulders, knees up. Ah. Ah. Come on. Oh. Guys, done, well done. Oh, right. I think, as it's Christmas, I'm gonna give you guys one bonus exercise to do, which we're gonna do in about 20 seconds. I'm all about giving, this is my present to you. We're all gonna hold out a plank for one minute. Whether you do it on your hands, or you do it on your elbows, we're all gonna hold out a plank, just a drink. So, have a quick drink. Set the timer. Merry Christmas, guys. Let's finish on a high. Hold out a plank for one minute. The clock is on. One minute timer. Get yourself in plank position. Are you ready? Three. Don't want to see your bums in the air. Straight lines. Two, one. Let's go, come on. So elbows or hands, it's up to you. I'm doing it on my elbows. 
Plank position, push your weight forward, get that bum down. Come on, let's hold it for a minute. Final exercise. Keep it core tight, let's go. Nice, deep breaths. Come on, hold it out. Straight lines. Weight forward. Nearly there, guys. Hold it out. Come on. Yes, guys. Well done. Woo! Yes. Oh, that was tough on my shoulders, that was, after doing that. Awesome, 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 right. Oh dear, Merry Christmas everybody. A nice little bonus to finish the workout, well done. Oh dear, I felt that in my shoulders today, I really felt it in my shoulders. Like I say, I had to lower the weights. I was in the, oh, shit, no. I was in the uh, position to be able to obviously switch my weights. But if you have heavy weights, again, drop them or adjust accordingly to how you feel. I certainly got to an RP of eight a lot of those exercises, which is what I wanted. Okay, it's not always about burning and feeling absolutely wrecked at the end of a workout. It's about feeling it, soreness in places which you didn't think you could feel sore. So, well done, guys. Absolutely epic, well done. High fives, fist pumps. You rock, guys, you rock. As always, I will take my hat off to you and bow down to you guys for doing that workout because Yes, it wasn't hit, but it was still tough. So well done, honestly, really well done. Oh. So we're gonna start with the upper body today, purely because we've worked more of the upper body than we have the lower body. So let's do those shoulder shrugs first. Let me turn this down, Shan. One second, it's not loud. Okay, shoulder shrugs. So let's do five going forwards. Two, three, get those shoulders high, and we'll go backwards. Four, and five, and then bring it back the other way. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, while we're in the position like that, I want you to roll your neck. So really go wide and down and round three times. Again, slowly, otherwise you go dizzy. Two, one more, and three, and then we go the other way, so slowly round. One. Two, and again, one more, and three. Okay, from there guys, let's do those arm circles. So really big arm circles, slowly. Okay, we're gonna do three forward, but they've gotta be slow. Slow it down. Two, one more, and three. We bring it back the other way. One, good stuff. Two, last one. Right over the top, and three. Okay, from there, let's put the hand down the middle of the spine, push down top of the elbow. This is from all the triceps. And then we'll do the legs after we've done the upper body. Okay, let's switch sides. Awesome, right, hands locked out above your head, lean over to one side. Okay, switch sides. Oh, feel that. From there, guys, just have them hands out in front, lean forward. Oh. Arms behind, squeeze the shoulder blades together. So really rotate the shoulders back, chest up. Okay, arm across your chest, pull it in nice and tight. Okay, switch sides, really pull it in. Okay, now we're gonna go to the legs. So, let's do the legs. We didn't really do a lot of legs. So, quick on the legs today. Quad stretch first, heel up to your bum, pull it in nice and tight. Now with that same leg, we're gonna bring it forward now. So up 
and then we're going to hold onto the, your shin and bring it close to your chest. Balance is key on this one, so if you have to lean against a wall or a chair or something, you can do. Great stuff. Right, switch legs. So, quad stretch first, heel up to your bum. Keep that core tight, tilt the hips forward, keeps you straight line. Okay, bring it forward again, so knee up to your chest. Hold onto your shin, I've got to balance myself on this side. Bring it in as close as you can. Three, two, one. Okay, from there into that lunge position. So on that back knee on the floor. Okay, instead of rocking forward and back this time, we're just gonna lean forward, and hold onto the floor, stretch as far forward as you can. Okay, we switch sides. So into that lunge position. Okay, back knee on the floor and we stretch forward. Three, two, one. Okay, fantastic stuff. We're gonna go one final one. Let's go down into that side lunge. So side lunge, all your weight onto one side. Go down to the floor, so all the way down to the floor. Point your toes up towards the ceiling. If you can touch your toes, pull them back. Get that stretch in your calf and your hamstring. If you can't reach, don't worry. Just go as far forward as you can. And the same the other side. So, side lunge first. Stop my watch. From there, we go down to the floor once more. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Awesome work, absolutely fantastic. Guys, we're all done today. That was your circuit session, final circuit session before Christmas. I really hope you enjoyed that one. Um, again, it had a bit of everything, a lot more upper body than lower body. I think we need to save our legs for what's to come tomorrow. Really hope you can join me for our final Christmas, almost like a Christmas party, but obviously virtually. Um, if you guys can join me tomorrow at half past nine for the final one before Christmas, um, like I say, it's Christmas themed, so if you can dress up, fantastic. If you've only got a bit of tinsel, put it on, whatever, doesn't matter. But I really want you guys to get involved as best you can. Take your photos. This year, if you've never taken a photo of yourself before, after a workout, nobody judges on this page, okay? So if you've never done one before, you've never posted one onto this page, tomorrow is your last chance to do it before Christmas. You guys who join in every day or every week, yes, you get on there, take a photo and send it, and we'll all have a very Merry Christmas together, okay? Thank you so much, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for Hit Cardio at half past nine. Enjoy your Tuesday, guys. Thank you very much. Cheers, bye.